Turn down. They're very athletic. Well, every team in basketball wants to play fast offensively, rush it down the court, get easy baskets, but you want to play slow at the defensive end. Just saw him take a shot. Terrell Gomez, he is coming off a career-high 33 points in their loss to Pepperdine, but boy, that looks good. Lynch is that last year they were watching those players go out, and now they have to do what it takes to get Auburn back to the postseason. Work his way along the baseline, stepped on it. But this, this Northridge team, I will not be surprised to see them in the NCAA tournament at the end of the season. Maybe a notch in Auburn's belt. Auburn with a, a big size advantage. Advantage really in just about every way, especially with that guy. His guards playing defense, and he said he feels like this group of guards has the chance to be even better defensively than they were last season. Bucket goes up and in for Perry for CSUN, and finally they have their first points <laughs> in this game. And But it's a quick answer on the other end, Javon McCormick. And Auburn, ball handling, quickness in the backcourt. They are able to advance it in a hurry. Brown kicks it out. Answer by Northridge, pushing it down the court, getting the inside-out jumper. Dowdy. Boom! <laughs> The CSUN team is, team is having to deal with Lamine Janae not being eligible to play right now due to academic reasons. The Big West Player of the Year last year. was Standing player. He's a uh, a difference maker for sure, and I think will we'll lead this club to the NCAA tournament. I think uh, they have a great chance to win the Big West this year. Northridge coaching staff. Yeah, I saw Mo Williams before the game, and I said, well, you're back in SEC territory. He said, I'm in the wrong city. <laughs> <laughs> wrong city in Alabama. It's right there for the rebound. That wingspan certainly helps. Dowdy crushing oh. it. First Final Four in Auburn's history. First school in the state of Alabama to make the Final Four. CSUN goes to the corner, and it rattles in. Cambridge off. And the bucket is good. Elijah Harkless played a college game. That's, uh, you know you had a great career win. Yeah. <laughs> there is Austin Wiley from the three-point line. The Tigers really focused on extending their defense, forcing CSUN to go inside that three-point line. I mean, Harkless has driven in a couple of times and made both of his shots. Both contested, too. Johnson... Throwing it up. Flanagan just had to throw it back in play to save it. Purifoy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Darius Brown, the second, just a little short on the floater. Second life there coming from Jared Perry. On the second. Blocks. Look at Alan Flanagan getting up. His dad, the assistant, West Ooh. Flanagan. Whoa. Yesterday, as I was driving to practice. I think they're number 12 in the uh, in the latest college football rank playoff rankings. Oh, big bucket there from Brendan Herrick. He to the corner, Johnson. Offensive rebound and the putback. Turbo Jones. Gomez. Step back. Some of the theatrics out of the game. Gomez with a great move to the rack. <laughs> he was the Big West freshman of the year and then all Big West first team last year. Big bucket for Auburn. Eight now for Wiley. Woo. Deep, deep, deep three. Try to get to him. Cambridge looking to answer. He does. I think that's the uh, one of the big differences in college basketball. The guys just cool. shoot it so much better. Ooh. On the break, Cambridge. They started this game on an 11-point run and have controlled it since. Well, their, their scoring pace has slowed down. They're only on about 130-point pace for the game. Bulge right now for Auburn. Can see Sun chip away, get it. Down to closer to 20 here at halftime, maybe. Maybe not. Oh. Brings in Babatunde Akimbola. They call him Stretch, number 13 in that white jersey. Shot up from Herrick, and it's good. 
And he's got to be, he's got to be Jim's grandson or something, right? Alan Flanagan. <laughs> Deep pass to Elijah Harkless. Oh! Jalen Williams. Eight seconds. Get to him, crowd him. Gomez <laughs> puts it up right at the half and throws it away. Their ninth turnover. Pure boy. Shell pure boy. Hopefully, he will be okay and be able to return this season. <laughs> Shot goes up. Player on the floor. Lamine Janay is academically ineligible, has been all season. He was the Big West Player of the Year last year. Sixth in the nation in points and rebounds per game. The university trying to get him eligible to play immediately. December 22nd, Janae will be back on the court for this CSUN team, and what a difference he's going to make. Pass thrown up. Short. Oh, the move. Oh, oh. <laughs> Amberty McLemore. Javon McCormick showing his point guard skills. Don't leave that guy open. Ooh, pass. leave that guy open either. <laughs> Has a career high 12 assists already. Boy, Javon's been so impressive tonight. Okoro back out to Dowdy. Okoro up and oh. under. For the basket. Okoro that time able to slash in there. No help. Got there. Easy bucket. Michael Lowe drops it in. Anthony McLemore. <laughs> and Herrick's shot is off. <laughs> Lays it up. When you slow it down, when you, slow, you show the replay, you know where the pass is going to go, we can all see it. Javon can see it full for these Auburn Tigers. <laughs> Taking it in on two defenders. The Crimson Tide in the double O's decade. And now at Northridge, still coaching the team. Stud player, Lamine Janae back. Academically ineligible right now. Alan Flanagan, boom. One more. Well, I don't know if I've seen a 15 assist game in person. This might be my first. There it is. <laughs> For these first four games, Bruce Pearl has scheduled teams that have all been picked to finish third or better in their conference. CSUN is one of those. There's I got a, a, a smartphone, Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up my app. <laughs> <laughs> There's an app for that. <laughs> Don't have any shot makers out there. Dowdy's a shot maker. <laughs> really likes Socorro. I was asking him about the freshman before the game. I was really impressed by him. Who's not? Yes. For the last week, they've had a lot of late nights on the road where they get back at, you know, 1.30, 2.30 in the morning and then 8 a.m. classes. So on Wednesday, he won work with Coach Pearl, going through different things, how to improve, and he really enjoyed, <laughs> you know, bench points tonight. Purifoy. <laughs> have over five minutes left. You're going to beat a lot of ball clubs if you're shooting shooting the ball at that clip. A couple of home games in there and then two on the road. CSUN team on their way to Richmond to play the Spiders on Monday. Point range. Nothing to complain about for the Auburn Tigers tonight on the hardwood. It's definitely a good sign for the Tigers. Oh! <laughs> Cambridge! <laughs> oh, 
That will close out the evening. No shot here for the Auburn Tigers, but man, what a performance. And hopefully a sign of things to come for Auburn. Auburn has now won 16 of its last 17 games. They start 4-0 on the season. Five players in double figures. They just crushed 17 three-pointers tonight.